Coconut for your thoughts. Been going mad wondering how to get the six new BBC channels. <gasps> well, you can get them on cable and satellite, or buy a box and plug it into your TV. Hmm. Freeview, it's called. There's no subscription charge, just a one-off. Children in need. A big, big thank you to the thousands of you who've been hard at work fundraising already. Now, but if you've ever wondered how the money is spent, well, here's an example. Laura May McMullen finds out how Children in Need has been supporting a music therapy project. Cool. Best friends Ray Thompson, who's 17, and Michael Burton, who's 18, both attend the Treetops Hospice at Trenton in Stoke-on-Trent. We should start a band. I don't know. They've both got muscular dystrophy, the Duchenne type, and they both think that music really helps with their condition. So it's great news that £25,000 of Children in Need money donated to Jesse's Fund will help to provide music therapy at Treetops for the next three years. This could help with music therapy, because you can listen to the music and watch the lights. Oh, you relax. It's one of the news I like the best. And it's fun, isn't it? And, I wonder, and I wonder fun is what these friends like, like the best. Playing jokes, keeping stuff on their toes, what and having wheelchair races. But most of all, Don't Ray loves to sing, me. and he's made a CD. Like love. I'm a receptive flower. I'll make you last forever. Oh, another heartwarming story from Children in Need. And talking of that, it's now time to find out who else has bought Shafali for Children in Need as she's with another of the big bidders. Shafali, where are you? Thank you. Yes, I've been so busy this week with Children in Need. Shafali for Sale has been going extremely well. I've been here, there and everywhere. And people have been very generous out there, particularly so here in Wolverhampton. I was here at Beatty's department store yesterday. They presented me with a cheque for £500 to present the weather forecast from their perfumery. And today I'm at Talkwell Clark PLC, who are donating me with the same amount of money. They're just down the road. And uh, I'm with the main man himself, Don Clark. Don, first of all, thank you very much for the generous donation. Tell us a bit about Talkwell Clark. Well, Talkwell Clark are a family-owned firm. We've been here 13 years. We're in financial services and we run investment dealing services. Uh, we've now got uh, over 50,000 clients all around the UK, locally and nationally. Well, and uh, you're going to be doing a bit more to raise money for children in need tomorrow, yes, apart from giving us £500. Got you this nice uh, cheque which yeah, you can put very in your nice pocket. Indeed. Um, we're running a, a, a food from around the world day tomorrow, so we've all got to bring in uh, food from uh, various places. I've got to bring in faggots and peas. Well, thank you for your donation once again, and uh, good luck with the fundraising tomorrow. I am here, though, to present the forecast, so uh, let's do it, shall we? Today is going to be fairly cloudy. We've got some rain coming in. It'll spread across all parts later on, but it is still quite mild today. Temperatures are going to be up to about 12 Celsius with light winds, and most of that rain is going to be light and patchy. But uh, it will be coming in fits and starts. It'll be easing off and then intensifying at times. But for tonight, it's dying away, but there will be a lot of dampness left behind, so it will be misty and quite murky, and there'll be some dense fog patches in places developing later on tonight but the temperatures are cooler as well they're down to four or five celsius three celsius in the odd rural spot and light winds once again but for tomorrow because those winds won't be picking up it's going to take quite a long time for any mist or fog patches to lift so it's a murky day initially but hopefully once the uh, the fog does lift we'll start to see some brightness coming through temperatures up to nine celsius so things are beginning to cool off now Thank you, Shivali. And tonight she's at another location because she's been bought again. There's no stopping you. But that's all from us this lunchtime. Don't forget to cast your vote in our BBC Midlands Sports Personality of the Year Award. On tonight's programme at 6.30, we'll be looking at some of the contenders for the Special Achievement Award. And continuing the hunt for the buildings you think should be demolished in the Midlands. We've been out taking a look at some of your suggestions. So join Nick and Suzanne for Midlands today, tonight at 6.30 here on BBC One. But from me now, bye-bye. Over half a million people in the UK stammer. Having all the movements is just um, uh, a bit of an add-on for me. Um, uh, like, uh, like, uh, uh.
just having a stammer. But how much of their difficulties are caused by others? if you could um, say, say. Well, I'm in dead. Lost for Words, Tuesday at 9 on BBC One. Coming up tonight... I want to know, and I want to know now. It's just a bit of business. What was in the case, Dennis? It's time for the big one, the men's final of the superstars. Just who is the greatest athlete of them all? This is your chance to help with the fight against crime. Crime Watch UK, tonight at 9 on BBC One. Family secrets surface at the doctor's, and it's Mark's birthday. We're off to Riverside in 25 minutes here on BBC One, after Neighbours. So, yoga. You know, can you tie yourself in knots like pretzel knots? <laughs> Street yoga's not just... Thanks, guys. You were great. Hey, uh... Come backstage with me on the Neighbours website and I'll show you just how we researched Steph's breast cancer storyline. Or you can log on to www.bbc.co.uk slash neighbours. Bye. God doesn't give you anything you can't handle. We go behind the celebrity stories of faith. My idea was, hey, I'm the one that can get you home. To reveal the importance of belief. Of course I could be a Christian and a pop singer. Having stood on national television and said, God is more important to me than athletics, therefore I will not jump on a Sunday. I don't have a problem with that decision. Could it mean the difference between success and failure? Do you think God played any part in the result? Yes, yes. yes. Hand of God with Michael Burke, Tuesday at 10.35 on BBC One. An ageing rock star down on his uppers turns to a life of crime. Bergerac investigates in half an hour on BBC One after another shift at Riverside. One at 7.30. Up next this afternoon, Bergerac. From the canopy tops. This is the most incredible feeling. Onto the jungle floor. In a single handful of soil, there can be as many as 10 billion living things. And into the water world. More water flows through the Amazon in a single day than the Thames drains in a whole year. Charlotte Erlenbrook takes you through an extraordinary three-part journey. Jungle starts Wednesday at 8 on BBC One. Jersey now on BBC One and a musical mystery for Bergerac.